Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, dear viewers. Welcome back to our channel where we explore the fascinating intersection of Islam, finance, and philosophy. Today, we delve into the topic, 5 Islamic Principles for Financial Success. I will be sharing insights from the Holy Quran, Hadith, and authentic sources to shed light on these principles and their significance in our lives. So, let's begin. Principle 1, Tawakul, Trust in Allah, in Islam, one of the fundamental principles, for achieving financial success is placing our trust in Allah, known as Tawakul. As believers we understand that our efforts and plans are crucial, but the ultimate outcome rests in the hands of Allah. In Surah Talak, 65-3, Allah reassures us by saying, and will provide for him from where he does not expect. This verse beautifully encapsulates the essence of Tawakul, that Allah's sustenance is not confined to what we can perceive or anticipate. By acknowledging this truth, we free ourselves from anxiety and stress, knowing that Allah's divine wisdom is at work. Principle 2, Avoiding Reba, Interest, Islam unequivocally prohibits engaging in Reba, which is the charging or paying of interest. This principle is based on the Quranic verses in Surah al-Baqarah, 2-275-279, where Allah warns against the consequences of dealing with Reba. In verse 275, Allah states, those who devour interest will not stand except as stands one whom Satan has driven to madness by, his, touch. That is because they say, trade is, just, like interest. But Allah has permitted trade and has forbidden interest. These verses emphasize the severity of indulging in interest-based transactions and highlight the importance of conducting business with fairness and equity. In later videos we will be diving deep into reasoning and wisdom of this prohibition. Principle 3, Giving Zakat, Charity, one of the core principles in Islam related to finance is the concept of zakat, the obligatory charity on wealth. The importance of zakat is emphasized throughout the Quran and Hadith. In Surah at Torba, 9-103, Allah urges believers to give zakat, stating, Take, O, Muhammad, from their wealth a charity by which you purify them and cause them increase. Through zakat, we purify our wealth, cultivate empathy, and contribute to the welfare of the less fortunate members of society. This principle instills a sense of financial discipline, and reminds us of our interconnectedness as members of the global community. Principle 4, Contentment and Gratitude, the Quran frequently reminds us to be content with what Allah has provided and to express gratitude for His blessings. In Surah al-Baqarah, 2-172, Allah says, Eat from the good things which we have provided for you and be grateful to Allah if it is, indeed, him that you worship. This verse underscores the significance of being content with our financial circumstances and being grateful for what we have. Cultivating contentment and gratitude not only brings peace to our hearts but also safeguards us from unnecessary financial stress, and unhealthy desires for material possessions. Principle 5, Long-Term Planning and Investments, Islam encourages believers to plan for the future, not just for themselves but also for the generations to come. In Surah al hosha 59-18, Allah instructs, O you who have believed, fear Allah. And let every soul look to what it has put forth for tomorrow. This principle advocates for responsible long-term planning and investments. It encourages us to seek opportunities that align with Islamic principles and contribute positively to society. By making ethical and sustainable financial decisions, we not only secure our own future but also leave a meaningful legacy for future generations. And there you have it, dear viewers, the five Islamic principles for financial success. These principles, rooted in the Holy Quran and Hadith, offer us a comprehensive and ethical framework for managing our finances, and attaining prosperity. As we navigate the complexities of the modern financial world, 
let us never forget the wisdom of Islam in guiding us towards financial security and spiritual fulfillment. If you found this video enlightening, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. Also, feel free to let us know in the comments if you would like us to cover any specific topics in the future. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum.